Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Monday. It's the start of a new week. Happy Monday. I wanted to begin the vlog by reminding you, because I mentioned it in this week's planner video, but in case you don't watch the planner videos and you're just here for the vlogs, I'm going on staycation. Going. I will be on staycation <laughs> next week. And throughout COVID, you guys might know, especially if you're following the vlogs, that I've been daily vlogging the whole time that we've been under lockdown, quarantine, what have you. But the once or twice that I've done a staycation, I've not vlogged throughout because I want to be able to actually attempt to rest. Um, a futile attempt usually, but all the same. And the thing about vlogging is that you have to be presently recording, editing, and so on to keep up. And so this vlog that you're watching right now is going to be the last vlog for maybe like 10 days or so. I won't vlog throughout the whole staycation. I will resume vlogging that Monday, which I believe is like October 4th. And so, you're gonna get that vlog that starts October 4th on that Friday, which will be what, the 9th? So wait, am I calculating that right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, on the 8th. So until October 8th, this will be the last vlog. That's the plan anyway. I might change my mind, but that's how I've done it thus far whenever I've had any sort of downtime. So just getting that out of the way. Now, as for the business at hand, it is Monday. We have three therapies scheduled for today. And I have so many things I want to catch up on for the channel that I should have done over the weekend. But I had such a terrible night of sleep. Not last night, the night before. Last night wasn't great, but it definitely wasn't bad. The night before, I got like three hours of sleep total. And so did my son. So I wasn't even able to have the full blown, I'm so tired meltdown that I so deserved because my poor baby was also having a really hard day. So I had to be there for my baby. But um, yeah, I point is, is that I had a lot of things. Uh, I was gonna go yesterday to the storage and clear out the storage, which is probably the size of like half this house. Um, lofty goals, didn't get around to it because I was so exhausted. My mom's a real MVP though. She went without me and started doing things all by herself, which <laughs> very, very nice of her. Um, but I wanted to do that. I didn't get around to it. There was a lot of recording I wanted to do to kind of get ahead of things. Couldn't bring myself to be on camera yesterday really for any amount of time. So trying to do all of that today on top of all the therapies we have to do. It's a lot. Like today's going to be very, very busy. This week is going to be very, very busy in a very, very hectic way. I'm going to need a staycation once this week is over. But that's the point. I'm trying to get things done now so that I don't feel like I have to do them when I'm supposed to be resting. I'm sure I'll still find things to do, but I'm trying to make it hard for, my, for future me, if that makes sense. But yeah, better get around to it. I'm still in my pajamas. Kiddo's having breakfast. I have to have breakfast. There's just so much to do. Happy Monday. <laughs> hey there, pals. Happy, I was about to say happy Friday. No, no, happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, happy Tuesday. Um, earlier I thought it was Wednesday, so I mean, I'm all over the place today, but it is Tuesday. We have two therapies scheduled today, and I jumped in the shower this morning, which I usually don't do, I'm a night shower, but I meant to wash my hair last night and I forgot, so I did it this morning because today I want to try to find a minute. I have literally about 30 things on my to-do list, and I have to do those things when I'm not doing therapy or like making dinner, eating, you know, things like that. So I need to sort out literally how, <laughs> how am I gonna do each of these things? But at some point today, I wanted to carve out some time to do some intros and outros 
especially because I have a video that's meant to come out tomorrow and I've recorded all of it except for the intros and outros and it's kind of hard to edit and finish the video without that. So I need to do that today, which is why I wanted to wash my hair so I wouldn't look like too much of a gremlin. But I had the genius plan of like, hey, since, you know, I don't really wash my face with anything. I just like, you know, washcloth and water pretty much because my face is very sensitive and luckily for me this stage in my life I typically don't have acne except for like the one zit I get every month on my chin if you know you know so um I typically stay away from soaps and moisturizers and all of that stuff because it immediately throws me off balance but I thought it's been a while let me use one of my little lush cleansers you know and now I have I don't know if the camera's picking it up right now but I feel like all of this all of my forehead area and like the bridge of my nose is super dry and scaly and that's not exactly the look I wanted to put on camera <laughs> so um the road to hell right what can we say hopefully that will like sort itself out before I have to do these intros and outros but I guess lesson learned don't mess with your routine especially right before you're about to go on camera so what else no I mean I guess that's it there's there's a lot to do, a lot that I need to get done today, and um, I'm just hoping that I somehow manage to get it all done and to get it all done properly. Like, I don't want to half-ass anything just because I'm running short on time, but there really is a lot on my list. So let's see how much I'm able to show you guys or how much I remember to show you guys because some days I don't record much because nothing really happens. Most of the time that I don't record much, it's because I'm so busy that the idea of picking up the camera before I start the next thing just doesn't even occur to me because I'm go, 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 go. And I'm, you know, I'm in that mode and I'm just trying to get things done. So hopefully I'll see you in a minute, I guess. Happy Tuesday. Hey there folks. So we just got done with our first of two therapies, but I got some lush mail this is legit the one and only thing i am getting from the halloween collection this year there's a lot of new things and a lot of very fun looking things but i don't want to spend the money and i have too much lush as it is however this product was halloween exclusive and then it became year round and then they plucked it from year round which happens a lot just in time for halloween where they were bringing it back so, because this is a product that my whole family loves, because even my husband likes this, I got the biggest bottle that exists. Um, this is a liter of Lord of Misrule, and this is one of my favorite shower gels. This is black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla, and it's just really spicy with a tiny bit of sweet. It's incredible, and um, when it was a Halloween based product like Halloween only product I used to pick it up every year anyways when it became year-round I picked some up then as well and I do still have some but like I said everybody in my family likes this one and I only have so much of it so especially since I'm not going to be able to get any more until next year presumably I went ahead and I got the big guy I had requested a sample. They actually offered a sample. So it wasn't even a request. It was them saying, hey, would you like a sample? And it's not in here. So <laughs> Lush North America does it again. But whatever, that's fine. I got what I paid for, which is my big old bottle of Lord of Misrule. I'm not saying I won't pick up any Halloween things this year, but I am saying that if I do, It'll be because they made it all the way to the end of the year to the Boxing Day sale, assuming it happens, because it's always up in the air whether it'll happen or not, but it's always happened. So um, when they do that sale, everything's half off. And that's the only way that I'll give myself permission to buy more Lush at this point that I really don't need. So there's that. And uh, yeah, see, yay, I popped in. Look at Haley! Look at Haley on TV! Uh, you know, you don't want to. <laughs> wow. Haley, did you know you were going to be on TV? Plug the podcast! Plug the podcast! 
Oh, you did know. You're being interviewed. Oh, my gosh. Yes, girl, plug your YouTube. Hey there, friends. Happy Wednesday. It's the last day that I'll be vlogging until my staycation is done. Or I think the way I scheduled it, because we're going to be out through Monday the 4th. We're going to be back to business as usual on Tuesday the 5th. But I'm going to commence the next episode, the next vlog, on Monday the 4th. So it'll be the last day of our staycation, actually. And that video will come out on 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, on the 8th, October 8th, Friday. So this is your last episode before October 8th. And I might record some snippets here and there throughout the time that we're out, but I'm definitely not going to be like picking up the camera and vlogging like this while we're staycationing. That was a very fun thing to wake up to this morning, completely going off the rails here, but I saw last night somebody tagged Haley because they saw her on TV and I was like, wait, what? So I immediately set it to record at the next possible showing because I'd already missed it in my time zone. And so I turned it on this morning and hey, there she was. That was really, really cool. Um, what else? Last night was kind of weird. Uh, I also <laughs> helped somebody I went to high school with get her wallet back because the power of social media. I'm in a local like mom group and somebody went in there and said, hey, does anybody know bleh? because I just found her wallet and it's very far from where she lives according to her ID, but um, I'm trying to reach her on Facebook and apparently she hasn't logged on in April. So just on the off chance somebody knows her and I was like, hey, actually I went to high school with her and one of my friends is a mutual of hers, like they still hang out. So let me reach out to him and have him reach out to her and see if like, hey, did you lose your wallet? Because we found it, somebody found it, you know, over here in Timbuktu. And yeah, it turned out that that was her wallet. So we were able to connect her with the person that found it. And long story short, everybody is uh, complete and whole. Losing your wallet is the absolute worst. It's such a nightmare. And I'm just lucky that I happen to be in the right place, the right corner of the internet at the right time. And I recognized the name. So, um, but yeah, that's something that doesn't happen every day. Today's going to be busy. It's Wednesday. We have three things scheduled and I wanted to give you guys a knitting update before we wrap this video up because I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more progress made next time I see you guys in a vlog. And also all of the things that I ordered for my son's birthday party, which I kind of went ridiculously all out considering it's going to be literally six of us <laughs> but um everything i ordered arrived last night and i haven't opened the boxes yet so i wanted to show you guys everything i got this video might be a little long all things considered but it's also the last vlog you're gonna get for a bit so hopefully you're okay with that happy wednesday wanted to give an update on blanket number one and if you hear any copyright music in the background it's because i'm in my kiddo's room and he's playing with his iPad right now. But this is blanket number one, it is finished. As you can see, it is the length of the width of a full-sized bed. And this is perfect for like little bodies right now. <laughs> My nephews are eight years old. And so if you consider this the bottom and that the top or either way, um, it's a perfect size for them to use as a blanket or comforter right now. But then as they get older, they could use this as a throw blanket on the couch or whatever. So um, that was what I had in mind is to make it colors and a size that would work for years to come. And so this one is done, done. I finished it except that um, these little bits where the two balls of yarn meat. I have to cut all those little excess bits now. But otherwise, this one is complete. And my son really likes it, which is good because he's getting one too, except his and his cousins are going to be same pattern, but this colorway. Actually, his cousins, it's gonna be Ugh. same pattern, except this is going to be the solid bit and this is going to be the stripy mm. bit. My son's is going to be three 
stripes worth like here like so this chunk is going to be all solid this chunk of three stripes is going to be in this colorway and then the last three bits are going to be like that so it's going to be still striped but a more chunky solid stripe and the only reason I went with that pattern is because they only had so much of this so that's fine but I think this is going to be really really pretty I really like how this one yeah you like it too I really like how this turned out and so that is the knitting update. I'm hoping to get this started today. <laughs> the first like two or three rows are always the hardest part because everything is just all gangly and wanting to go all over the place. So I wanted to at least get that bit started now. And I wanted to remind you all that I do have a tutorial for how to make these blankets. I'll post the video up in the corner in case you're interested in trying to make your own. They're very, very easy. So don't be intimidated. And it's such a nice gift to give to people. So yeah, check that out, I guess. Okay, I'm probably making a huge mistake in doing this because once these boxes are open, I don't know where I'm going to put the things. <laughs> where my son's not going to get to them. But I've got a giant box from Party City and I've got a smaller box from Amazon and they are both full of party type things. So I guess let me show you guys what I got to celebrate my son's 10th birthday. Okay, so here's the Amazon stuff and I want to say that this is the candle. It comes in its own little box because we don't have enough boxes. Yeah, so this is the one zero for 10. And uh, 10 is apparently my son's favorite number these days. So that's pretty serendipitous. So we've got balloons. We have like cupcake toppers or cake toppers that say happy birthday and have little like Mickey and Minnie Mouse details. Sorry for the lighting, by the way. I had to turn on the lamp because even though it's afternoon here, it's so grimy and gross outside that there's zero natural light in this room right now. We have a birthday banner and it comes with a little thing of washi tape here. So I'm thinking I might have to put this together, which I'm glad I found that out now <laughs> because I was expecting it to be ready to go. We've got napkins. We've got... I think this might be either another banner or maybe I think it might be a backdrop actually which is pretty fun so we could take pictures in front of that and then matching plates to the napkins and then something else I got on Amazon in lieu of birthday hats I got us all Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears to wear during the party I figured my son would get a kick out of that and then moving on to the party city stuff we have some stickers. I just thought this would be fun. And I wanted to get the free shipping, so I added a bunch of tiny little things in there. We have blindfold, which came with the pinata. Uh, some tattoos. Probably give these to my nephews because my son's not really into that. Bubbles, which my son is very much into. We have this little sticker activity set. Again, just more fun themed things for the kiddo to play with. Uh, we have all of these like little clappers and whistles and whatnot so this will be fun to play with little mazes fidget balls i believe that these are meant to go inside the pinata because the pinata comes stuffed and then in case my son doesn't want to wear the mickey ear like headbands i got him a little hat just because i thought it was cute so now he has a little baseball hat with mickey ears on it in case that's more comfortable the pinata comes with its own stick and le piece de resistance although i'm totally butchering that pronunciation here's the pinata which is i want to say it's like two feet tall maybe and it has the stringies which is the type of pinata that we're used to or i guess you can whack it with this and yeah it does not come filled so this stuff came so that i can stuff it before we do the thing but yeah, I mean, it's just us. It's just the people that live here. But I figure this will be fun. It's very festive. And he loves Mickey. He loves the color red. So, you know, gotta do it up. It's a big birthday. All right, pallies, it's Wednesday night. So I'm wrapping up the last vlog for a little bit. I feel like there's not a whole lot left to say, but then I also feel like I should say something like 
profound and meaningful <laughs> since it's the last vlog for a while. Nothing comes to mind. I'm very excited about my son's birthday. Um, it's not the birthday I imagined or have imagined for many years leading up to it, but it's going to be special because my kid is special. And I think under the circumstances, I did my best. I'm trying my best. Hopefully he has a good time. Hopefully it's memorable all the same. And hey, whenever we're able to like get out of the house and actually like do a big thing for his birthday, we're going to have birthdays to make up for. So um, we're just going to have to get ready to go all the way out whenever that happens. In the meantime, I'm going to try my best to get some rest. I have already made a list of things that I want to do during the staycation because of course I did. But I'm trying to keep the list every day very light, very chill. I'm not allowing myself to actually declutter during the staycation. I will make lists of things I have to do. I will make lists of things that I can purge and things that like definitely need to come with us and stuff like that. But list making is where I am forcing myself to draw the line. Same with videos. I'm going to go ahead and edit because that's something that I can do from the couch while cuddling my son, but I will not be recording whatsoever during the staycation except for the one plan with me that's meant to go up. No, there's two plan with me's. Whatever. Those are quick. So <laughs> I'll be doing that, but otherwise no recording. You will still have content. You might even still get five videos a week. I'm not sure because I do have a couple extra videos that were not on my original schedule that I recorded. So I figure I might as well put them out next week since I didn't know when I was going to put them out otherwise. So I'm still thinking on that, but for sure you're going to at least have the three videos that I promise at the end of every video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So those are my plans for the next two weeks, maybe. It'll be at least two weeks until you guys see another vlog. So no, it'll be two weeks exactly, I think, till you guys see another vlog. So um, those are my plans for the next two weeks. <sighs> wish us um all the happy positive vibes that we're able to do something fun for my son's birthday at some point i want to at least try to take him to the zoo because we're gonna be in one of those like we're gonna rent one of those little bike car looking things and so since it's all outdoors we'll be avoiding all the indoor exhibits it's all outdoors we're gonna be in our little contained bubble as far as like our little bike wagon thing um and so on that's something that he always enjoyed pre-pandemic, so I'm hoping that we're able to do that. But now the forecast is saying that it's going to pour at least for the next seven days. So um, positive thoughts on that, that we're able to actually go out and do something to celebrate my son's birthday. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. I hope you guys stay happy and healthy and safe in the meantime. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.